Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have a small-ish empties video to share with you for the, for the month of May 2024. Now this month I had a few big products that I've still got on the go and I've got to the end of the month and I wasn't even sure whether I would show it to you. Um, but June I'm off, um, I'm going to be away a bit. So um, I'm off to New Zealand for sort of five days, it's going to be about a week and I know I'm going to take lots of travel sizes with me, um, it'll be a week by the time I fly to Perth and what have you. So um, yes, yeah, so I thought well I might as well bring this to you now for the month of May and I might not have one for June, we'll just see how we go. So let's pop in and have a look. Now if you haven't seen empties before, it is where people save their empty products as the the thumbnail says it's all my empties these are things that I have had finished in their entirety so I can actually give you a proper review these are products that I've received in my subscription boxes and I have so many now in my stash that I wasn't able to sort of review it for you by the next month when I got the next month's box and then if I had them for a while, sometimes I forgot which box they came in, you know, life happens. So I'd seen the empties and I've watched a few people do it and it's really intriguing because there are items that you might like when you do a first impression, but by the time you get to the end of it, you're like, mm -mm, that one's not for me. And I have found that with a few things, but I've also gone the other way. Something's been really expensive. I haven't really wanted to try it and I've kind of thought, oh, I don't know. And then I've loved it by the end of it. So I think this is a really good way to review the products and let you know about them and whether I would buy them again. Obviously, I don't repurchase a lot of stuff simply because I get a lot in subscription boxes, but I am finding my favourites. So if I do need to go out and buy anything, then I'll know what I'm looking for. So let's have a look. I'll pop my glasses on. So let's grab the big one out. This one actually was really interesting. So this is Empire Australia. Here comes the sun. It's a coconut and vanilla essential oil hydrating body scrub. And it still smells that. It's really, really lovely, sweet coconut. And it's like super fresh vanilla like in the shower this one you could smell it it was almost as fragrant as the you know how you get like the shower bombs and stuff that you pop in the bottom of the shower shower steamers or fizzes whatever they call them this stuff when you put it on your body it was just as fragrant as that so I really liked it and it lasted a long time because this is what's this 500 grams so it's a great big big jar and I just scooped a little bit of it out and all over my body. Uh, fresh and aromatic, yes it is. Exfoliates dry skin, leaves skin smooth and soft. Great before fake tanning, hydrating and nourishing. And I did find it was really hydrating. And I'm really enjoying these body scrubs, these kind of, these sugary ones. They are... Now, does it say, yeah, it just says, um, yeah, pay particular attention to your elbows, knees and feet because it, it is quite scrubby. But yeah, designed, made in Melbourne, Australia, liked it. So yes, yeah, so I am enjoying having those in my shower. Now this one, I've had this for quite a long time, so much so I've actually lost the little lid off the top of the tube. But I did keep the outer packaging because there wasn't much written on this one. This one came in a Retreat Yourself box. Um, it is actually the Aromatherapy Company Therapy Range, Pulse Point with Essential Oils, Geranium and Rosemary. Um, and I actually, so that's what it looks like on the on the inside. So it was a little bit hard to read. So I kept the bottle, and it's just got the little metal roller on the end. I'm not really one for using essential oils, but what I have been doing with these is I've been keeping them in my bathroom. And obviously, I get up in the morning, you put your deodorant on, all your smellies, all that kind of stuff. But at night, I've actually been using just some of these on my pulse points um, and actually really liking it because you get that light fragrance without feeling like you're over deodorized or smelly or whatever, like quite a fresh. So I have been using them like that. Um, sort of don't travel with them or anything, but you know, I enjoyed it. I, I don't wouldn't buy these again, but I am going through them and you'll notice from some of my items, I'm not a wasteful person. So I will, even if it's something I don't really like, I'll tend to suffer through it to get rid of it because I don't like throwing things away so 
Um, if I don't share them in my giveaways and things, then I do just sort of stick with them. So I've got a few like this, so you will see some of them. So that, But I was happy to um, finish that one up. Now this one's a Nivea Face Cleansing Wonder Bar. It's a hydrating, it's almond oil and blueberry. And it had a little window here where you could actually see it. And it was like a light blue colour. And I did, I just used that one in the shower. And it was interesting because normal cakes of soap, even here were in our hard water, still kind of lather on your body. And this one didn't really lather, but you could feel it sort of definitely cleaning. So I did like that one. And I'm sure I've seen lots of these in Woolies. And I have got a few different ones. There's some pimple ones and a black charcoal and things like that. I've actually popped them into Kale's bathroom. So whether or not I end up doing reviews on those, we'll see how we go. Or I might pinch one back and do that. So you might yet see those. I think these came in blissful boxes. But I, I mean, obviously, we don't do those anymore. So I'm just working my way through them. Now, it says, no plastic, please. Introducing our first face cleansing bar that comes in fully recyclable paper packaging. Created for normal to combination skin types, this pH balance formula is 100% soap and microplastic free. This gentle cleansing action removes buildup without stripping the skin for naturally beautiful and soft skin. And I did find that it was um, that it was hydrating, like it said. So, yep, that was a good one. Then we have a little mask. Now, the lid's come off, so I'll just kind of put that in here. It's a Neutrogena Youthful Boost Sleeping Mask. This is smoothing and it's hyaluronic acid and shea butter. It says it was a single use mask, but this little baby was full and a sleeping mask. So you put it on your face and then um, I put it on your face at night and then you sort of rinse it off in the morning. So it sort of soaks in, but you can kind of still feel it when you're washing your face the next morning. And I just found there was too much in here for put, me to put it all on my face at once. So I think I used it, I think three nights maybe, I kind of put it over. Maybe I didn't put it on thick enough, but I wasn't game enough to have all that extra stuff on my face when I went to bed. But I did really like it. It, it was very hydrating and I could certainly tell the difference when I stopped using it. So I did like those. So that was that one. Then I've only got a couple more things left, believe it or not. This was the Antipodes one. And this brand, it's amazing. I'm really enjoying it. It's the Hosanna. It's a H2O intensive skin plumping serum. Um, and it just came in a little bottle. So this was one of the full sizes. We've seen lots and lots of like, little foil packets, but this is one of the first um, full size ones I've gone through. And you can see by the color of it there, I couldn't, oh, I couldn't get that out of the dropper the other day. And there it is, like right there. I'll have to go and clean it off my floor. My floor's a bamboo, so it's all okay. But see the color of it? But it was really definitely hydrating. I did love it on my skin and I'm really, really enjoying this brand. So if you get a chance to try the Antipodes stuff, give it a go because it is really, really, really good. It's a New Zealand company, so that's a good one. And lucky last is a QV Face Nurturing Night Cream. And I've had quite a few of these QV brand ones uh, and I like them all. It is a really good brand um, and it has been, now, where did I read that? I know I did read it and there's been a couple of you comment as well. It's actually been formulated by a hospital over east, like as a care for people's skin. I just dropped it. So it's got all the right backstory behind it, the right scientific goodies behind it to make it right. Um, and I did really like this. Normal to dry sensitive skin. And it was 10 grams, so it lasted a little while. Um, but being just a night cream, I just pop it on. Yeah, I wouldn't use too much after I've had my shower at night. So that was it. So that's all I've got for the month of May. Um, I've got some little ones nearly finished. I've got some little ones put aside, ready to go away. Although I'm not really sure how much I'll use. Um, I don't know. I've not been overseas before. It's my first time packing. So I'm trying to make sure that everything's going to fit to take it. So I may have to cull and work out uh, what I'm taking and what I'm leaving behind. But wait for the end of June and you'll see what products I took with me and what products I used. So that's all I've got to share with you today. I hope you're having a great week. Until next time, take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.